Hey guys, what's going on? Red here, and OBS decided to fuck up on our last yeah. session. Uh, who, hey, who, somebody say the end words, quick. Uh, no. Here, don't do that. Um, and basically, <laughs> instead of just, and it was like the best session of the entire campaign. It was so sad. <laughs> so much happened. It's like, it would be weird if we just yeah, like, glossed over it. So we're doing a recap. Uh, this is gonna function similar to how we did the recap for the Christmas special where half of the recording was messed up. Um, so we record this session, or when we played, uh, before the Christmas special. Wait, uh, did the Christmas one shot fail as well? Yeah, well, half, half of it. Of it That's when I noticed that it wasn't working. Oh, no! Yeah. Did we have to recap that as well? Yeah, so Aaron and I did that the other day. Um, oh, okay. So, uh, but for this we have to do the whole session, and there's a lot of it. Um, so, we have most of us here. Uh, I think we're missing so Claire. who remembers what happened in the last session? Me chilled with I mean, me. It I was two remember. weeks ago. I, I remember pretty much. I also have my notes, so. It was very important to my character. Yeah, it was so much character development happened. Excluding uh, me chilled. So, two weeks is kind of pushing the limits of my mental capacity. Well, I guess that's just you. Anyways, uh... <laughs> If you were to ask me what I had for breakfast 13 days ago, I'd be able to give you total detail. 14 days ago, nothing. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I have to constantly remind you about your magic missile. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Anyways... Well, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do a general recap of the whole thing, so... Um, more detailed than our regular recaps uh, that we usually do at the start of each session. Um, so, uh, at the start of this past session that we're recapping, uh, you guys were on the ship headed to Mount Celestia. Uh, and y you, you all had so much Christmas decorations, and sadly <laughs> those are all lost. It was beautiful. Uh, <laughs> I have screenshots like of that, actually. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. I have screenshots of that. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you send those that. to me, I can edit them in. Put lights on the ship uh, and everything. Oh, yeah, I have, I have them right and here. Christmas tree and... Yeah. I have them right here. Oh, wait. Oh, are you no, don't putting them in Discord? Or... Yes. Yes. Okay, I'll put them in Discord. I'll flash it up. Um, but you were all on the ship headed to Mount Celestia. Um, and you guys woke up in the morning, uh, and friend told you that you're about 15 minutes to the portal, uh, to get to Mount Celestia, and that there'd be a checkpoint, uh, yep. there. Um, and I think after talking with friend for a bit, uh, y'all learned that the checkpoint was run by, uh... Uh, Mechanists, so it was a bunch of Modrons, which are little robot people. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, here's the picture. Uh, <laughs> yeah. With, okay. <laughs> With, uh, okay. yeah. Uh, of we, course. We can't God see the picture, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, I would assume we might cat. still have, like, the original footage to, like, throw in clips and stuff. I mean, I yeah, suppose, um, but I, it's not gonna really show that much more than what we're gonna be describing um, because I it's mean, so long <laughs> uh, might put like, like if, black if and white comes... filter over it and it's like flashbacks well, well, I'll, I'll handle comes... it Jog I'll, I'll yeah well I'm, I'm just thinking like if we start describing like a particular scene in detail it'd be nice to have something to look at I mean yes and the, I'm also recording Roll20 right now so you know we're also gonna Fair enough. Re That's, re that, reenact that, it that anyway but, I mean, for, yeah. the, for this part, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so anyways, uh, basically, the AI convinced you all to get into the prison cells. Because if you I weren't in the prison cells, knows. that'd be weird. I think what actually happened was the AI was like, Oh, normally there are no humanoids here. Yeah. So, um, that might be difficult. And we were like, huh, well, what can we do? Well, we had another plan, but no, it was stupid and dangerous and also going to reckless. Deposing in the corner. <laughs> yeah, basically, we like remembered that. Oh yeah, we 
found Nedry on one of the ships, and he was locked up in a cell, so let's do that, and friend can take care of everything. Yeah. And it worked? Yeah, it worked. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I've just... I just work. realized. And so... This was the one... Go ahead. This was the one session with no fight. Yeah, there was no fighting in the session. It was um, roleplay. Yeah, it was all roleplay, which makes it even worse that it wasn't recorded. Uh, but anyways, uh, oh, so... Oh, the plot happened. Yeah, you guys got to pass through the portal without issue. Yep. Um, and you guys all got to land on Mount Celestia, if I can. Let me go over to there. Uh, which was this massive map I spent so much time on <laughs> making. Nice um, we did spend a lot of time on the map. Yeah. Um, and so Mount Celestia is essentially the plane of like angels and divinity and uh, it's lawful goodness. Lawful goodness. Um, and so you guys were all directed to land on the sort of landing platform place that's off the map over in this area down in the bottom. Um, oh yeah, zoom in oh. a little bit more. Um, and. Y'all met, oh, what was the Modron's name? Do I have that in my notes? Um, hey, boop, boop. Alpha, Alpha, where was it? Where was it? I Let's see. see. Long, Long ass, ass ID name. name. Uh, yeah, you gave us a string of numbers for its name. Yeah, okay, yeah, I didn't write down uh, what, what I ID gave its name. ID something 24. Uh, <laughs> something. Like I remember the last numbers two numbers. In a row or something. Yeah. Um, I remember last two digits. They were 24. Did you write it down, Alpha? I thought you wrote it down with no, I didn't write it down. Um, so anyways, you all uh, came around this corner, and it was like the gates of heaven, uh, but they were overflowing with the, all these spirits of dead people that they needed to let in. Um, and basically, they were having sort of a overflow, and the fact that a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of these spirits don't belong in Mount Celestia. Um, and Including Phil. <laughs> uh, and you guys, uh, well, I believe Hishu, you tried to sort them out on your own while other people did Hishu stuff. Hishu just walked up and waited in line. Yeah, yeah, and you were waiting in line. Uh, I was being a patient, Dragonborn. <laughs> yeah, for over, like, months and months of waiting. Like, I have great food and water, we'll be fine. <laughs> Jack no, Goff could wait be... better than oh, you. who's saying we'll be fine now? Um, this is not in a combat <laughs> situation. <laughs> um, yeah, now now it's all up to Meat Shield if we escape or not. Yeah. Um, and y'all learned that like these Modrons over here are basically... Wait, I'm saying we'll be fine Daniel? now. I'm the new knight. <laughs> or, these Modrons are here to basically take uh, these various spirits that once they're sorted out, that like, they don't uh, belong here to go get resorted. Oh, uh, okay, so nobody's going to question the fact Red just said Enyo. Alright. What? You said Enyo. Did I say Enyo? Yes, or, you did. When did I say Enyo? <laughs> like a moment ago. Did you, Enyo learned about the dendro. Did nobody let. Oh, for fuck's sake! I did not say anyone's name there. <laughs> okay, look, this is being recorded. We can just go back on this. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um. You all tried convincing. Uh, what is it? What's this guy's name? O'Faniel? I think specifically Knight oh, wait, waltzed wait, up wait. and was like, I'm gonna talk my way into this gate and then roll really great persuasion against um, some ridiculous rolled Aryan maid yeah. and still didn't work. <laughs> yep. This this angel, O'Faniel, he's very overworked. Yeah. We uh, tried to help him. We offered many we, ways to help him. Yeah, but then he was we like, how out. can I trust you'll actually choose, like, sort these people correctly? Yeah. Like, you're not even from here, so... We offered to, to help him sort it, we offered to pre-screen them to make his his job easier, we offered to like sort them out, organize them, and he was just like, ah, oh, no, let me get back to work. Yeah. I remember there was like eight angels just assigned to like, uh, be like bodyguards and not have people up. Yeah, so right? And they were just standing body? around doing nothing and they wouldn't help. Yeah, so all these angels <laughs> help were sort of like guards for the game. Yeah. yeah, and they were like a higher class angel, yeah. Uh, Van Chlorofaniel here. Um, and I know Meat Shield and, I don't know, someone else, I forget who. Probably Narbear. Yeah, I think it was Narbear. Maybe Travok. Tried to set up, like, a, a, like, 
sort of rope lines. Like. They literally walked up while, while Knight and Angel were talking oh, and were oh, like, we bought. need some sticks and rope. And then Knight's just like, here, have my javelins, go away. Yeah. <laughs> they, they and then they started set setting up, up like a rope line. They were trying to set up like a movie theater rope line. Yeah. The, yeah. Like that boxy kind of movie theater before you get to the actual movie. Yeah. Um, however, uh, I think at, at a certain point, Phil decided to come up and cast a lightning bolt yep, to get everyone's attention, which then led to him instantly being arrested by all these guards and being taken over to here, uh, to be taken to, I believe, Hades or some other lower plane because they were like, he must be bad. Phil's logic. <laughs> Everyone's not paying attention. Let me cast lightning bolt into the sky. That'll be great. Thaumaturgy <laughs> is a lot more friendlier. Um, and then, uh, oh, and then he had uh, dimensional shackles placed on him. Yeah. By, uh, he did have dimensional by Bariel, this fallen angel guy who's from the lower planes. Um, and then you guys had to convince him to let Phil uh, go. I forget exactly what y'all did. Uh, we convinced him. I don't know, I think. To... Oh, wait, it was part of the other. The deal. Yeah. yeah. So that was one part of the deal. The other part was that he would give you uh, the stuff Access called Angel Dust. <laughs> to. Uh, totally um, not drugs. Yeah, that would totally basically fool the other angels into thinking you're, you're divine beings and let you through. Yeah. Um, it was. It was like Meat Shield and Travic who went over and started talking to him first off. I and think, then they just yeah. like started run, running around in circles and arguing amongst themselves. And then I came over and was like, okay, what's the deal? And then actually made the deal. Yeah. And all and so the deal was he would release Phil, give you all the angel dust, and then in return, uh, you oh. would owe him a favor in the future. Yeah. Um, Which a lot of us don't trust. Which I think... He said He said it was not, yeah. a, not an evil favor. Not an evil favor. Not one non-evil favor is what I owe him. Yeah. I secretly kind of wish it was an evil favor. Oh, it, it, there, there, there's a, a trick to it, but that hasn't one come up yet. One non-evil favor. <laughs> yeah, but that's on night, so, you know, <laughs> have yeah. fun with that. <laughs> um, so, uh, you all uh, got this angel dust and... I just realized something. Disguised yourselves. Huh? I realized something. Is Knight the one who always makes these uh, terrible deals for us? Uh, oh, yeah. To, yeah. to uh, take over, to um, give a child the world, and now this. 100%. Y'all are like, follow her around, and she's just like, plumbing her way through things and making terrible decisions. <laughs> yeah. That's about the change. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah. Uh, uh, you all got to go through the front gates after that. Um, I think right after was when we went to an information building. Yeah, after, so after that you, uh, well first, after you went through the gate, you were greeted with, you know, sort of the good place, sort of, uh, like, welcome to heaven, <laughs> sort of oh, voice. Oh, say that we were, like, residents or something? Yeah, and you guys were residents and you needed to go to the residence welcome center to figure out where to go from there. Okay, that's um, great. And so y'all went to the Welcome Center for Residents, which is over here. Uh, and uh, spent like, I don't know how long asking where everyone that you all ever knew who like, died. Sat there for hours in game, like, where did this person go? Where did this person go? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think anyone remembers where everyone, each person was. Oh no, well, it also doesn't particularly matter too much because Y'all quickly realized that people were sent to the wrong places. Yeah. Um, and I, we kind of just needed that to confirm that everyone is dead and where they should be. Yeah, except that they're not where they should be. <laughs> if you like knew them in real life, it's like, wait, that's not where they belong. Yep. Like, why is that lawful good person in a chaotic hellscape? <laughs> sort of thing. Except Dub Dub. Dub Dub's in a good place. Yeah, Dub Dub oh, yeah, was Dub -Dub that place. <laughs> Bad, so that yeah. was good. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think because Phil had died briefly, y'all learned that he was 
originally to be sent to Hades. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Which Phil was, uh... Very upset about. Yeah. <laughs> um, but through... Where is Dravik going to be sent to? The, um, I don't think we him. discussed that. He hadn't been sorted no, yet because he was only brief. Yeah, he was only dead for like a mo like a second. Uh, like less than a minute. Um, Ooh, I have to go get my pizza. Yeah. Okay. Um, but the main thing y'all needed to learn there, uh, which y'all did, was where Tadriel's house is, which was Aaron's guardian angel. Knight's guardian angel. Oh, yeah. I am not my character. That's true. Uh, <laughs> Uh, which y'all learned was over here, um, wherever Tadriel is, uh, there she is, uh, there we go, um, so, Tadriel, she, this sheet. is where we split up, um, yeah, and parts of the, did y'all split up? Some of us up? went to talk to Tadriel, and some people went to the, get, to the gift, gift shop. shop, okay, yeah. so, that was the bottom more. Yeah, Nor Nor and Norbert and Morph went to the oh, meat shield as well. Yes. And meat shield went to the gift shop. Hey. Hey, we're doing the recap. Um, yep. And at the gift shop, like what did y'all get? Uh, they got like figurines. Figurines and Morph got a, Morph got a t shirt. <laughs> yeah. I got three sizes of every shirt, <laughs> regretfully left in the changing room. <laughs> oh, that's right, you snuck out <laughs> through yeah. the changing room. Uh, and also, everything was free in the gift shop. Yes. Uh, but yeah, Narbear snuck off and was on a quest. Uh, what were you trying to do? I was trying to bail, trying to get to Mechanus all by my lonesome. Was yeah. it like a secret mission? Like, you definitely even specified it during the campaign, I think. No, yeah, I yeah. I mean, I know, I know the real reason why you wanted to go there. Uh, but yeah. I don't think most of the party does. Sunday and picnic. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you kind of wandered off towards the shipyard place after that. Yeah, um, I was just a squirrel until later. Yeah, but yeah. the, but the transport the sort of train ship uh, wasn't set to leave for a little while. So you just kind of had to sit around and wait. Um, she spied on the train and the angels for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then back down at Tadriel's house, you guys talked to her for a bit. Knight was like, oh my god, Tadriel! Found um, out that um, she did not actually send me the vision that, that got us yep. here. And it was like, what? But... <laughs> yeah. And then we asked her about lots of things. Um, but more, most importantly, we pulled out the uh, Cosmo Orb. Mm -hmm. And... Which immediately... Tadria like changed and got possessed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as soon as you showed her <laughs> that. A little crazy. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you showed her that, uh, she went a little. Uh, she got possessed by Cosma. Did she say her name was Cosma? I don't. Yeah. I don't think she I did. I kind of cast. I kind of cast legend lore She's on her. In this oh yeah, that's right. You, like yeah, he shooted did that, so you knew. About I knew. Cosma. And Cosma, I'm trying to remember what y'all learned. About her. Uh, she basically was just like, put the orb away, uh, and, and don't show it to anyone. Don't show it to anybody, and it's just like, well, I can't stay here for very long. And wait, 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 didn't she say she was many pieces or something like that? She did mention that. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I that mean, the orb we, of was course, part... we didn't listen to Cosma. <laughs> and the orb is part of her, so yeah, so y'all didn't random listen to her <laughs> because or God, um, uh, oh, random being. <laughs> And then when uh, y'all finished talking with Tadriel, or talking with possessed Tadriel, yeah. uh, Tadriel didn't remember being possessed or anything, and was like, "Night, what were you gonna show me?" Yeah. <laughs> um, which I forget what y'all said. I think Phil uh, pulled me something out. Oh yeah. Was like, oh here, trinket. Oh, yes. Phil spoke up. Okay. Some Never someone spoke up and showed something. Um, and then did y'all all regroup after that? Back at the gift shop? Uh, we did pass by the gift shop, so everyone yeah. but Narbear we recouped yeah. with. Yeah, everyone but Narbear regrouped at the gift shop. Uh, then, uh, Meat Shield Ben split up and met a uh, fire angel thing around Um, that time. I don't remember. Uh, um, no, so we all met up at the gift shop, yeah. and then we were like, hey, we're gonna go talk to Eldath, 
Mm-hmm. Um, because Hishi wanted to go to Eldath first. Yeah. And oh, then, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And then, um, Morph is like, look at my cool trinkets. <laughs> the gift shop is free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want happy shirts. Yeah. Uh, Meat Shield ran off looking for Narbear, and I think, um, Morph and Nova came with us? Yeah, I think so. Um, they might not have gone in. Oh, yeah, that's right. Meat Shield did run around. But, yeah, Meat Shield ran around looking for Narbear. Um... And then the, one of the solar angels came, which is the high yep. tier angels, and was like, "What are you doing? Why are you running around?" <laughs> uh, and Michiel, Michiel, are you here? Um, I guess um, not. I guess not. Um, but he was basically said like looking for Narbear, and then they're like, "Okay, we'll go find this Joplin friend of yours." Instantly found Narbear. <laughs> Found me. I was not hiding very well, apparently. Yeah. Um, Can't hide from angels. Yeah. Um, sadly. <laughs> um. Seriously, Jog? That's why you. I had so many Discord notifications. <laughs> it's from some other chat with you in it about losing the game. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, really? you don't have to spread it here. <laughs> well, it, it just distracted me. I'm like, why was I tagged the six times? <laughs> it was like the only people who would do that. I told I was not. I was busy right now. So. Uh, anyways. You know, I wasn't tagging Red specifically. He just happened uh, to be in the group chat. <laughs> one other thing. Uh, I think some of y'all noticed when y'all were walking towards the gift shop, uh, y'all saw a. Let's see, I think I think this person's a halfling. Um, so uh, oh. this halfling lady named Nancy. Oh yeah, uh, we didn't see Nancy. Looking around for stuff, but y'all haven't interacted with her, but she kind of followed along in your footsteps the whole time, last session. Yeah, we um, ignored her completely last. We were just like oh, person. Like, okay. We yeah. avoided that plot. Yeah, um, but anyways, I think, so then everyone but Meat Shield and Narbear went to Eldaf's temple first. Uh, uh, I came running across the house because I heard Meat Shield. Uh, I thought he wasn't relevant. Uh, well, we, we, we just finished talking, talking about you. We finished uh, talking about Meat Shield uh, and that fire uh, angel looking for Narbear. And the part where we killed you. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing this again. Last time we did um, this, somebody died. And so y'all reach uh, Eldaf, and they just let you in. Yeah. Um. um and then yeah, Eldaf appeared before you guys. Uh. And, and had a wonderful interaction with Hishu. Yeah, it was very nice to Hishu, and it was like yeah. everything depends on you, and <laughs> no pressure. Yeah. No pressure. Uh, it was kind of very vague about everything. <laughs> <laughs> but but that that's just what a god is though. Yeah, um, she gave you a token of courage, which is basically oh, yeah, bardic yeah. inspiration, a one-time use thing. Except it's a d20 uh, that you can add to cool. to any roll, essentially. Um, so pretty useful thing that mm-hmm. maybe you'll use or just ho- hold on to it for a rainy day. A <laughs> uh, very very rainy day. But then, when you're about to use it, be like, but what if there's a more rainy day? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'll probably use it, though. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, was anything, did anything important happen while y'all were talking with her? Well, um, we showed the Well, she, like, um, telepathically talked to Hishu yeah. a little bit about how important she'll, she'll he make- was. Yeah. Um, oh, and she specifically asked, should we give the orb to, to Cosma? And her answer was, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the, the, the choice heart. is up to you. I, tr- your I trust, I trust he, you will make the right decision, Hishi. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised yeah. nobody's checked the live stream real quick. Uh, um, nobody cares. Yeah, we're all on roll 20, Marza. <laughs> but drug but, science, everyone, it's important. What the Listen, fuck why is, is that? Why are you sharing your screen like this? Anyways, I'm just gonna ignore Literally that. No uh, <laughs> um, let's see, did anything else happen? Can't really think of anything else. Um, 
don't know. Eldath was all very, very vaguely, uh... I don't know. Gave lots she of has a lot vague, of faith in but you. encouraging advice. Yeah, encouraging advice. It's like, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, do, do your what? <laughs> and it's like, and like, you do know what? what? <laughs> and like, you'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm not sure that's why, like, why I have Just to follow my heart, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah. Um, uh, I think y'all left after that. Yeah. Um, yeah, we had a break. Yeah. Oh. Y'all, yeah. And y'all went to, go yeah, that's where we had our break, and that was the end of that. That what would have been the first video of that session. Um, so we had a break as y'all regrouped with Tadriel. Uh, this this over. recap will cover two full episodes. Yeah, this so. is covering yeah, two your episodes. Your playlist is being cut short two episodes. <laughs> well, it's going to be one video. Yeah. Um, uh, you all regrouped. Uh, uh, well, it was more over here. Well, yeah, um, kind of in front of Lathander's Simple. Yeah, kind of in front of Lathander's Simple. Um, aside from, I think, Narbear? Narbear was still in the tree. Narbear was still in the tree. Yeah. I think... Oh, wait, and then Meat Shield was gone for the rest of the session. Yeah, and Marzo had a little bit. Yeah. Um, and... So... Uh, didn't Nova go to the gift shop right then? Like, she left them? Well, so once y'all regrouped, uh... Oh, wait. That you, was, you guys uh, did kind of split up for a moment. Yeah, so we regrouped, and Knight was like, what was that? How, how do we get any direction from all of this vague encouragement? Let's go back to my god, he's much more straightforward. And, and then um, Kishu wanted to go check the, the house the of worship yeah. for Eldath. Eldath's yeah. house of worship. To make I sure he wasn't the only, <laughs> only worshipper of Eldath. Yeah, but I did yeah, learn I something. Was... That oh. the only reason my shrine is so small in comparison to knights back at the full house isn't just because of knight. It's just that nobody gives any, gives any shred of respect for Eldath. <laughs> at all. <laughs> I'm offended. Uh, he, she was very upset. <laughs> um, and Tadriel also threw a kind of slight at <laughs> Hishu because like when Hishu mentioned, uh, oh, everything depends on me is what Eldath said. Uh, uh, was like, yeah. All the angels treat her as if she was senile. But, but uh, Tadriel was like, "Yeah, she says that to everyone." <laughs> it just made Ishu like, "What?" Ishu was even more incredulous. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so Ishu went into that, uh, and y'all originally left without him to go speak to Lavander. Yeah, but but when Ishu quickly was, like, came leaving back. to go, then um, Knight asked for the orb. That's right. And we, um, like, kept it covered and passed it. Yeah, so us. Knight was holding the so orb, Knight and that became very important. <laughs> <laughs> um, and... Yeah, plot started to happen once Lathandor came yeah. into play. And, and then Nova ran off to the gift shop Nova again. ran off to the gift shop to get... Yes. Stuff. I what did you get? I bought the Eldath statue, the Lathander statue, and a stupid, uh, seal plush for, uh... Yeah. No, baby heart seal. <laughs> right, I'm gonna throw this in D&D chat in preparation. Baby heart seal. Uh, uh, <laughs> not yet. Not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, we'll show that in a moment. Um, yeah. So then, well, okay. So you went. You guys went and did the Lavender stuff before y'all regroup with. Uh, before Nova. we regroup with Nova, but yeah. um, yep. Hishu only no went very briefly now. to the Eldath House of Worship, and while he was gone, Knight decided she did not want Tadriel to get possessed again. That's and right. Has, uh, what was the spell? Protection like, from protection good and evil. From I good think. And evil. Yeah, I wasn't aware of this. <laughs> Which prevented, uh, or what you guys believe prevented Cosmo from uh, taking back over Tadriel yeah. once <laughs> shit went down. <laughs> Uh, in Lavander's Temple. Uh, you shot but we're getting the ahead point. of ourselves with that. Um, so you guys yes, reached <laughs> reach the front staircase and there was a bunch of high-level angels like guarding the entrance. Um, see, there was a... Uh, I guess we the one named real. one was this guy, Abaddon. Uh, we can take him. We'll be dude. fine. It's this dude. Um, no, we're not gonna fight the angels. Um, we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, fine. And you guys... After talking with him for a bit, he let y'all through, um, and y'all got to enter the temple, um, 
And once the doors were shut and you were all in, uh, Lefander appeared Except for you, you all. Huh? Yeah, we all, once all of that group went into the temple, which the group yeah. that went in yeah. to see Lefander was Knight, Heshu, Phil, Travic, and more. Yeah. Uh, Lefander well, appeared and he was very kind of... Welcome Somewhere. to Lathander's amusement park, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that sort of vibe. A little bit goofy. <laughs> a little bit goofy. Uh, not quite what you. Uh, it's like uh, like uh, Zeus you know. when Hercules met him in the town. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, like Zeus accurate. in the, the Disney Hercules movie. I haven't watched that movie in forever, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hercules, uh, I need to get stronger. What do I do? Well, you see, Sora, it's a little thing called. Birthright. Ah, oh, <laughs> shit, I don't have that. <laughs> um, and he welcomes you all and, like, praises Knight and Hazel, uh, even though Hazel's not there, but uh, it's like, like, you yeah. do so much good work. Uh, Knight was very happy. <laughs> and I, I, I do remember that Morphem has tried to jump in and be like, hi, I'm Morph. Oh yeah, the very start was Morph runs up, like, hi, I'm Morphy Max, and then gets blown away. With, like, a gust of wind. <laughs> Off to the side. Um, <laughs> trying to think, was there anything else before the big scene? Uh, um, I can't remember any f other detail. I mean, y'all talk for a bit. Yeah, Lathander was like generally being like, "Oh, you've been such a good little paladin," and then um, asked like, "What we came?" Yeah, what, what you we came, came here to for? See him about, and then Knight pulled out the orb. And and then shit went down. Yeah, that's when shit went and down. And this is the big scene. Uh, because for most of the party, you all noticed that Lathander like his expression changed for a moment, like just a moment of like, "Oh shit." And by uh, most of the party, you mean everyone but night. Everyone but night. <laughs> Didn't everyone, like, a lot of people show insight Because I have a passive perception. Yeah, and basically, uh, Lefander was like, give it to me. Uh, give the orb to him. Yeah. Uh, well, Knight asked, like, we've got this really crazy artifact, we don't know what to do, everyone's been super vague about it, what should we do? <laughs> and he's like, give it to me. <laughs> give it to me, I'll take care of it. I'll get you. rid of it. <laughs> and everyone was, like, super suspicious. <laughs> I don't know and why. And was like, yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. He sounded too happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he sounded a little too happy about it. Uh, and then... Okay, you guys all did a whole bunch of stuff to try and prevent Knight. Okay, um, sequence of events went like... Knight stepped forward, like, of course you can have it, and pulled out the orb. Yeah. And then everyone was like, no, 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 wait. Uh -huh. And Kishu tried to cast Command. Yeah. Failed. <laughs> Failed. Alpha got to realize how great my Paladin aura is. <laughs> oh no, I've to... always known. I was just hoping for a really good net fail. Travok then tried to shoot the orb out of your hand, but oh, almost yeah. hit Lathander in the process. Travok tried to shoot the orb out. Um, uh -huh. he, here's Hishu my favorite part. tried command twice. He tried no. command again. Phil walked up behind me and tried to... He, tried, he just tried talking. He just tried Didn't talking. Didn't he do a shocking grasp on you? Afterward. Oh, no. that was afterward. No, that's a melee. Phil tried to talk me down. Yeah. And... You're not. You're. You're not. Phil did the big try picture. to do a sleight of hand check on you, but I told him you can't sleight of hand. Like, do steal the thing God wants right in front of God's face while it's out of the open. <laughs> while it's in the open and is the conversation of everyone but right you now. Can try it. That's <laughs> why. He rolled a nineteen, but I was like, that's still not enough. <laughs> like no. <laughs> I did try something else to prevent this orb that you're freaking. Are you? What what you did you try? I don't remember what it was. Banishment. All right, you tried to fucking banish the orb. Yeah, and that <laughs> yeah, didn't, work. didn't work. Yeah, uh, Damn you, Cosmo, for having such high charisma or whatever that <laughs> you had to make. Yeah, and so ultimately what happened was you gave it to Lefander, and then he just noped out of there. Yeah. <laughs> or he was like, thank you, and then just vanished. Yeah, I mean, I did, I did roll insight once just to see if everybody could convince you of things. And it yeah. was a nine. So Knight yeah. was very much like, of course I should give this orb to God. <laughs> so we, I want everyone to look in D&D chat. So now, now is the meme. <laughs> now is the meme. Let's see, where is it? Uh, oh, there's so much pizza now. What the hell? Uh, 
<laughs> See, there it is. Uh, the perfect meme. <laughs> the perfect meme, and we all died laughing at it. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Um, and then the party was all super pissed at night. The party was so pissed. Well, actually, okay. as soon as... As soon as Knight handed off that uh, his orb to Lathander, Hishu just basically did this and charged up the door. Yeah, Hishu yeah. ran out, and then I was like, oh no, Hishu, and then Phil freaking shocking grasped me. Yeah, I charged out with tears in my eyes, <laughs> like a sad little, like, pet. Oh no. <laughs> um, yeah, and yeah, Phil shocking grasped you. Did anyone else do anything tonight? Not at that time. I think everyone just looped out. They all met. Everyone else left. Said. Um, I was still in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I was still at the gift shop. And I think at that point, you hadn't realized the band had no, betrayed you No, yet. Knight had not realized what actually happened. She was just like, why is everyone mad at me? <laughs> yeah. Um, why is he so So you were sad? the last one out. Like, everyone else went out. Yeah, everyone you. else went out. And I just kind of stood there oh, like... What's and Tadriel on? was with you. Yeah, Tadriel stayed, and I was just like, Tadriel, what's going on? What did I just do? <laughs> she, she was being supportive, like, you did the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> but also a little bit ominously, like, oh shit, you're in trouble. Uh, mm -hmm. And you still had no clue. Uh, but everyone else, like, walked out and got surrounded by all these high-level angels and were like, you're arrested. Uh, yeah. I believe Hishu's words was, with tears in his eyes, just take me far away from here. <laughs> I think that's what it was, yeah. Yeah. Um, and Phil tried to, like, throw Knight under the bus and kept telling them to go get me. <laughs> and they were like, oh, we got her. We'll handle her in a moment. Um, and so they put all of you into dimensional shackles. And... Uh, took away all our stuff. Yeah, took away all your stuff. <laughs> and escorted you guys all to the transport to Mechanus. Well, but they, uh, and then they also intercepted the stuff, they just well, the I was that's where they were headed. Yeah. Um and then Knight came out, they arrested her. Oh, and I think what they specifically said they arrested you guys for was for stealing a vehicle, the spaceship with friends. Yes. Uh, stealing a ship and harboring, harboring an illegal. Harboring an illegal, which yeah. was Cosmo. Yeah, was the orb thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, so that's what they arrested you all for. Um, and Knight was just like, "Oh, but I did a good thing, right?" <laughs> yeah. As soon as I walked out, they were like, "Okay, we're here to arrest you." I'm like, "But." I just talked to Lathander and he was, he seemed happy with me and he was cool and I just gave him what he wanted. <laughs> and then Tadriel didn't yeah, back you up. And then Tadriel just stood there and I'm like, Tadriel, tell them. And she's like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help you. He just you. waves with a sinister smile. Goodbye, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she, she didn't have a sinister smile, but yeah, it, it was kind of like that. <laughs> Like, sorry, kiddo, <laughs> you're going to jail. <laughs> you did everything right. What did I do? <laughs> um, and then, like, uh, when uh, Nova came out of the gift shop, you also got arrested, Samantha. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then, uh, some, then Narbe. Oh, yeah, Narbear also got arrested while waiting. Yeah. Uh, I got out of the tree. Yeah. Um, and that's where all of you are uh, on the where we left you on this map is being escorted onto the train. Yep. Ignore uh, the blessed effect on us. <laughs> oh yeah, so like... Well, for, I mean, that's what's still going on. Yeah, that was... Uh, so, one of the effects of Mount Celestia was uh, oh, if you were uh, going on? Go. a good character, I believe? Yeah, you were good aligned. Then good aligned, then you, got, you had the blessed effect on you the whole time. Which was pretty much everyone except the barbarians. Yeah. And me. Uh, this is stupid. Um... And so with Night Shattered, <laughs> and Hishu also kind of broken a little bit. Uh, I'm upset. <laughs> and everyone really else upset. being upset. Night was broken and betrayed. You were all taken oh, yeah. to uh, the sh train and transported off Mount Celestia. Okay, I'm trying to remember uh, who was in what cell. Um, I don't I... specifically remember that. Uh, I remember. Um, I remember Nova. 
and Narbear and Phil and I were all chained together. Um, yeah. Yeah. So ignore the ship on the map currently. That's where we ended. Um, but the other side, oh wait, I gotta move you all to it. Um, but basically there was this giant ship, uh, oh, I'm on the wrong layer, uh, there we go. Yeah. Um, which took up most of the map. Um, and you guys started, so I'll just put it onto the map layer. Um, which you guys all started, yeah, up in these cells. I forget who was in which cell, but you were all chained together. One. I do. Um, I still wanted to be changed, chained to the anchor. Did I write down? It was no, I don't think I did. The top cell was Narbear, yeah. Nova, myself, and Phil. Yeah. yeah. And, and then the other one was Hisu, Travok, and more. But Meat yeah. Shield would have been with us if he yeah. was still here. I wanted to be stuck on the. I wanted to be stuck on the anchor. There was no anchor. Uh, no. Who doesn't keep an emergency anchor break on their flying ship? Um, but there was some, uh, Modron- There was two little Modrons standing outside the cells to guard you. Uh, and- Yeah, which doesn't take much to kill them. Like, just one firebolt and they're dead. But, uh, as y'all were saying in these cells, y'all had some moments to talk to each other. Okay. And I just got a girl up and cried. Yeah. I encouraged Phil to take everybody down on this ship as quickly and with as much chaos as possible. Um, okay. Phil was take very everyone angry down with extreme prejudice. To take out anger on. Yeah. I was fanning that flame. <laughs> um. Okay, uh, while stuck in the cells, Nova gave Lathandos. No, that wasn't yet. Phil. That was, no. That, that was like the very No, last you gave it to, oh. you gave it to the other person. Or no, wait, you did... No, no, Knight, and I mean, Nova showed Knight the oh, statue. Yeah, That's right. Then Knight yeah. just curled up even further into the corner. Yeah. Because Nova <laughs> she didn't... put it back in all bags. She put it back that, in That's right. right, that's what happened. You just she tried. wanted to rag doll mode after that. Yeah. <laughs> it was all over. And that, that's what Knight was for the rest of the session, pretty <laughs> yeah. much. Um, yeah. yeah. And then I think you all... I'm trying to remember. Did the pirate attack happen first, or did you all- The pirate attack uh, happened after we broke out. We, Phil we saw the shadow of something pass by. That's yeah. right. And then started attacking things. And yeah. Then the pirate attack uh, actually happened. And then the pirate attack did, happened. Um, didn't he should do a thing to get out of the cell, like, mm -hmm. uh, Yeah. He did. He oh, should was it. bashing at that electric door. So we try. so he should ran up to the door and was like, Travic, help me with this lock. <laughs> it's like, what am I supposed to do? I don't know, aren't you the dwarf seven minute dead? <laughs> Smack it! <laughs> yeah. So we start like charging at the door, but it electrocuted us. But me being a blue dragonborn, I only saw this as destiny, so I just roll a crit to smash on <laughs> the door immediately. Yeah. It's pretty great. Um. <laughs> Our cell door was also electrocuted, but our solution was just to have Phil chuck Narbear at it. <laughs> yeah, and that one. Oh, Which worked! <laughs> it did work! You had a drag knight behind you, though. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah and yeah. basically when y'all came out, y'all met, uh, you didn't realize it. I forget which ones you met, uh, where, but y'all started meeting a bunch of pirate people, which we'll go over in a minute. Um, and basically they were, uh, robbing the ship. Um, and you guys kind of joined in and they kind of let you, uh, uh... Guys. Yeah? You guys do realize Green Shell's eight minutes late and nobody's pointed this out, right? He, he, said, said, he, he, he said he was gonna do it. Um, anyways, uh, so then the second car had a bunch of, like, just passengers. Had the Nancy person on it. <laughs> she no, was we never talked You still haven't talked to her. Apparently uh, she's important. And a couple other civilians. I mean, she's not that important, but... Yeah, we... The, the pirates robbed them and then saved them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the pirates were robbing them and then saving them. <laughs> because the ship started to crash. I um, wonder whose fault that was! Yeah, yeah. because the fucking uh, core was about to go into, like, meltdown then, or something. Then Nobato tried to crash with it? Yeah, 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 we're about to get to that. Um, so then the next oh, okay. car, this one... A whole bunch of the Modrons robots, but they were already destroyed. 
So you didn't even have to fight him. Uh, and this whole time, you guys are shackled, and are still shackled, by the way, for the next session. And, it, yeah, and now it's up to Michiel to save everyone. But the pirates um, broke the chains they that broke. linked us together. Yeah, so they broke the chain. We're not chained together anymore. Yeah. Uh, and then they took you all down to this vault room, uh, where um, they uh, broke in, and you saw the leader, There's the captain. Of the pirates. Well, everyone uh, except for me they were trying to pick the lock, but then that kept failing, right. so they just shot the lock yeah, off. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> They're trying to conserve ammo. Uh, <laughs> you could have done that to start with. <laughs> 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 uh, and they came for a, a creepy looking sword. Um, and then Hishu, I believe, found an orb. The, is it the same one that you found had before? Another, uh, or a different one. We don't know. Yeah. That's why well, I'm going to get one. Phil to help out. Since yeah. he was there when I got... So we also thing. got our stuff over here. Yeah, and y'all got your stuff. But couldn't put on, like, your armor and things. Because yeah. you're shackled. Um, so that makes it very difficult to put on. Uh, it's good. It's a good thing Mitchell doesn't need armor, Lamau. Yeah. And... He's an indomitable. Fortress. Um, <laughs> and Narbear, I believe, scared the shit out of the Modrons in the. Uh, ah, yes. <laughs> yeah. I tried to get Narbear to crash it. The, the on the bridge. Narbear was like, I'm the captain now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the captain um, now. Crash this ship. However, the ship <laughs> was, <laughs> had, had taken enough damage that it wasn't going to make it, and the core was melting down. Yeah. Um, and so, you guys. Kind of got brought on board by the pirates. They rescued yeah. everyone on board who wasn't a robot. Yeah. We zip lined um, our way onto I the. I believe the ship was on a crash course for mechanics. Well, it, it blew robots. up like a, like 20 seconds after everyone was off of it. Yeah. Um, well, everyone ran down except Nova stayed with Knight as Knight was just kind of aimlessly wandering around. And somebody <laughs> else grabbed Nova and my gear. Yeah. Yeah. Someone well, in the party, but I, we all it was like Phil, Hishu, and Narbera that was carrying yeah. all your stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um, but then y'all were taken to the we pirate ship. We lined onto the pirate ship. Yeah, it was sort of a zip line thing. Um, where there's a whole bunch of crew members, uh, but they're all captained by your old friend Audrey, uh, who. Who now is Captain Caitlin? Captain Caitlin. Um, and left Phil for another man. <laughs> Girl, uh, it's actually a girl. <laughs> uh, that feel for another girl, which probably has a w high, uh, way better uh, wild magic table than him. <laughs> Except she's uh, not. Is she's not a... There's all kinds of things wrong with that sentence. Like <laughs> yeah, she's okay. not a sorcerer. <laughs> okay, look, let me make the joke, okay? No. No. Um. So y'all met Caitlyn, um, uh, and y'all learned a little bit about her. Like she was the only one y'all really talked with. Um, at the end of the session, yeah. uh, but apparently she had been sent to Gehenna, which is yeah, basically which... an evil place full of mercenaries and slavers and stuff. Which uh, we had learned while we were on Mount Celestia. Yeah. She had uh, but then she confirmed that that's where she went, yeah. um, and managed to basically uh, 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 conduct a mutiny on this slaver ship, uh, and took the ship for herself. And has been a pirate since then. Um, yep. So, uh, so yeah, Caitlyn was y'all's big companion throughout the first campaign. Yeah. The vast majority of it. Uh, and the only so. person with true plot armor until the true end. True plot armor until the end where she was killed. Uh, she was killed in the fucking one shot. <laughs> yeah, killed in the one shot between the seasons. Um, and yeah, so she's in a relationship with uh, Alex Kinter, who is her second mate. Um, and who's basically this warrior lady from a thousand years ago. Yeah. <laughs> who helped defeat the big bad guy way back then from the first campaign. Oh, um, is she a distraction? Yeah, she helped seal away Arzaloth. Yeah, she helped seal away Arzaloth and died in the process. But then Arzaloth came back for the first campaign. Yeah. Um, and they've been in a relationship for like two years. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of other crew members. Let's see. There was uh, Janet. Oh god, I remember when who... uh, Cleo mentioning trying to ship me with two of the ship members. I forgot that. Um, Love triangle. Why? So, Wait, no. Hold on. 
Um, Samantha mentioned that I... she didn't want to ship Nova with anybody, and then Red immediately pulled up two single dudes, and I'm like, ah, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know which ones, if you show it okay, to me. Okay, yeah, I'll, I was going to go down the list uh, yeah, of the crew members. Yeah. So there's this Janet, is the Hunger Games all over again. who is basically the ship engineer, make sure it works, but is very naive and will believe almost anything you tell her. Yeah. Uh, Sounds like... Or at least wonder if it's true, like, afterwards. <laughs> like, even if she doesn't believe it, it's like, but what if it is true? <laughs> but what if? <laughs> She's uh, willing to believe anything. <laughs> yeah, willing to believe anything. Um, and then there's Quinn, who is... Uh, like the navigator uh, and studious person. Um, oh yeah, that was one of the love triangle. That was yes. the one that. <laughs> but he doesn't like interacting with people very much. So um, <laughs> he was the one that I actually liked his character profile and thought he looked. And he's actually from Mechanus. So oh, boy. that makes sense. Yeah. Um. So yeah, and then there's this guy, uh, is it the, Riffidin, the, yellow, uh, is it the blonde hair guy next? Uh, not yet, he, he's a little bit further down the list, uh, who is okay. basically, uh, the, like, uh, a gunslinger who just will shoot pretty much anyone, uh, Han Solo. <laughs> he starts, yeah, very <laughs> Han Solo-like. Uh, starts well, fights. Exactly like, like something the problem? The solution is to shoot it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy looks at me funny? Shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> shoot him. <laughs> so that's that guy. Um, slightly inconvenient. But, he, but he's also completely useless with doing anything on the ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he always <laughs> shoots it. Wait, Delta, Delta. Does Hanley see these sounds like every police officer in GTA 5, not gonna lie? <laughs> Slightly inconvenienced. Shoot him. <laughs> no, murderous person in front of police. No, murderous person in front of police officer. Police officer, I sleep. Accidentally lightly touches police officer's car. I shoot. <laughs> um, and then there's Mary, who is basically the sniper. Uh, yeah, she doesn't talk. Silent sniper. Doesn't talk. From much. over a thousand feet. Away. Yeah. Does she have a monocle on the monocle to be able to shoot that far? Why? You mean like a telescope? <laughs> a monocle on a monocle. You mean a telescope? <laughs> um, sure. Yeah, so that's her. And then there's um, the one that you were talking about uh, a moment ago, Samantha. Uh, Lassiter. Uh, uh, <laughs> so I know if it is him because I'm not sure. I think it's uh, goofy smile. He's the one with a goofy <laughs> smile, and is like the muscly dude, and is Did like a charmer. Oh, I think he had blonde. Oh, the yeah. Tomo. Yeah, it was the wait, Tomo and the studious one. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, no, that was the like the Tomo and the studious one. Those were the two yeah. that uh, yeah. was the love triangle with Nova, according to Cleo. And this is where the Hunger Games begins. <laughs> You can't actually take Claire's uh, shipping yeah. seriously. <laughs> no, I know. Y'all no. no. haven't really interacted with the crew very much. Right. No, we haven't interacted so we with Caitlyn. Have well, we yeah, can't. Caitlyn and a Red. little bit with Alex. Uh -huh. Well, Red, we kind of can't interact with two shack with shackles on our hands. Also, where the fuck should I be? Uh, and I accidentally threw myself yeah. off the ship. <laughs> um, and then there was one more crew member. There was uh, Hoot. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, a small not little be, owl assassin. Not to be confused oh! with eight ball. Yeah. Um. So yeah, don't 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 like say don't anything talk. sassy to him. Rootin' and tootin'. <laughs> and now me shield is dead. <laughs> uh, I have resistance to persistence. What? What? Yes. Um, so yeah, that's basically where we ended for that session. Well, a couple of things happened once we got on the ship. Oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, wait, all right, the... we Nova. Well, while okay. people were realizing that, uh, Captain was Caitlyn, Audrey, uh, -huh. uh Knight decided it would be a great idea to throw her holy symbol off the ship. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that happened. And then and Nova... Then Nova the Wait, hold on. So did I just become an atheist to, uh, or something? Or <laughs> off the ship? Pretty much. Uh, oh yeah, Nova. 
that yes. was pulled off the Lathander statue, which Knight's now response was to, to grab a it. and just like it, smash it off this shit. Yeah. She was like, do you want to throw it off or should I? And he just <laughs> smashed it by hand. Knight just instead. smashed it. <laughs> and then, um, and then Nolan went over to Hishu and pulled out the other statue, yep. and uh, Caitlin was like, oh no, those are yeah, spies, in, and Kate, just well, shot it. Well, no, she, she just shot, shot it, it first. Yeah. Like, Kate saw it, pulled it. out the gun, and bang. <laughs> <laughs> like, before yeah. anyone could react. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone was what? like, what? Hishu is cowering after that. <laughs> yeah, uh, just the little statue of his goddess in his hand. He's like, oh, cool, and then just obliterated bang. it in front of his face. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mitchell just teleported onto the ship for some reason. It's just mass fucking panic. Um, yeah, and then basically Caitlin then told you all that all the gift shop stuff all right. is essentially spies for Mount Celestia. Uh, and then Phil fucking... shot a firebolt onto Morph's shirt to bring it off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and now Morph is shirtless. Yeah. Uh, that ex Wait a you... minute. So, so basically the gift shop items were Facebook. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> They were ah. Facebook. <laughs> um, and so yeah, you all got rid of the uh, the gift shop items. Um, yep, Nova threw off for a seal off the ship. Uh, I thought I was doing it in secret behind the ship, but apparently I did it in front of the ship. Um, yeah, and... I think the only other thing that happened was Alpha. Or no, wait. I think it was Jog. It's a great uh, realization of when Caitlyn like introduced Alex and was like, "This is my girlfriend." <laughs> and and just, oh. oh, oh, Phil! Phil. Oh, Phil. <laughs> it was so perfect. <laughs> oh, Phil! Oh, Phil! Because I guess. Back at oh, the Phil. end of the first campaign, <laughs> Phil went on a date with Audrey, um, yeah. and then Audrey died within like a month of that. Yeah. And so yeah. Phil was like all heartbroken. Um, for the My death was impenetrable. I kind of just don't, didn't know how to say no. Um, and yeah. Um, oh, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's where we ended. Yeah. Uh, and. Yep. I think this recap covered pretty much everything. I don't I think that we're really I missing the, Yeah, all the major stuff. And hey, we're about 30 minutes when we should have started. Yeah, we're about when we normally start. Oh yeah, yeah, and we leveled up at the well, end. Uh, yeah. Red, uh, Red, you made sure OBS is recording all this time, yes, right? Yes, OBS well, is recording. I check hope. again. Yep, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, <laughs> I mean, I checked like five minutes that into been, it. But... That would have been horrible if none of our sound was coming through again. That would suck. Well, no, 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 all of our sounds could be heard. Dog has friend. something to say! Hey, listen here, I don't get to talk much, okay? No, Marcin, you shut your face, I'm more important, you look at the roll list. <laughs> wow, <dog>. wow. wow. <laughs> Anyways, Dog, what are you trying to say? Dog's asking Fuck you. to be demoted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can, can I can I temporarily be put in the Red's Kingdom owner, please? Oh. No. no. Temporarily demote Dog. Well, Hold up! Hold on! <laughs> Alright, John, spit it out! Thing. I'm trying to end the video! <laughs> Did we mention the dog? What dog? Exactly. Oscar? Oh! Alright, uh, we all learned it Oscars right. to actually telepath. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forget there exactly was what it was. About a dog. <laughs> it was back at the welcome center. Someone asked something, and y'all yeah, learned sure. that. Yeah, uh, Oscar is asked where telepathic. Oscar was. Yeah. <laughs> telepathic good boy. And then it's like, oh yeah, he's still in the tavern. And y'all were like, wait, what? He's actually telepathic? <laughs> That's right. Uh, so that happened. Because we all thought Michu was crazy about telepathic dogs. Yeah. yeah. We did have that minor revelation. Um, I can't think of anything else. Drugs! What? No. Oh. Y'all already did the drugs with the angel dust. Uh, <laughs> totally not drugs. Totally not drugs. <laughs> I love even that though it, down. Even I just though walks angel over to Hishu and it, like, blows it in his face. <laughs> yeah, I, still, I still want to point out Angel Dust still is actually another name for cocaine. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. That, that's why I named it that, because it was kind of a play on it. Fun. Um, anyways. Uh, yeah, so I think that's the end of the video. Uh, this long, extra long recap. 
How long was this? Oh, pretty much exactly an hour. Yeah, uh, nice. Yeah. That's, an hour long so, recap. That summarizes uh, both chapter Art. 11 and chapter 12. Yeah.